Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel. Today we're going to be talking to you about balance rates. And to start today's video, if you'd like to buy this very nice pontoon here at Thoroughbred Diesel, give us a call and we'll make you a great deal on it. All right. So in a conversation that I was having with a customer the other day, we were uh, working on some tech stuff on the vehicle. He, he kept referring to um, sensor on the injector. He kept saying it over and over and over. And I, I, w I wasn't really thinking about it at the time, but I asked him in the conversation, so what are you, what are you calling the uh, sensor on the injector? And, and of course he was talking about the electrical portion of his injector. Uh, the man had a uh, 2006 five nine, which is obviously, what, as we know, the cylinder on the injector, but he got me thinking about how people view, um, so whatever you want to call it for your specific platform, be it cylinder contribution, if balance rates, uh, whatever that that figure is that we look at that measures the output of a cylinder. A lot of people don't realize what that actually is and what's being measured. So I'm going to give you that on a very, very high level. And I'll continue to say balance rates because I'm, I'm an old Duramax guy, so I'm, I'm used to saying balance rates. But as we know, different platforms are different things. Contribution rate for uh, or cylinder contribution for seven threes, uh, contribution percentage for some of the Dodges, so on. So all electronically controlled injectors, except for some of the five nines, which get a little bit weird, have a uh, have a parameter or a test that can be run on the vehicle where you can measure the output of the cylinder um, in 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 its in its its test function. Excuse me for stuttering there uh, in its test function. So again, I'm going to call it balance rate. So on an injector, and this is again, this is a very high level statement. So on all of the electronically controlled light duty diesel uh, injectors that we deal with, the electrical portion of the injector, be it a solenoid or par part of the piezo -elect uh, electrical stack is just a on off uh, it's just a vessel for the on off current for the injector. This turns the injector on and then shuts it off. That's what it does. Okay. So this is controlled by ECU, ECM, PCM, FICM, whatever it be for this, the, 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 uh, specific platform that really doesn't matter. Just know that this is basically the on off vessel for an electronically controlled injector. Okay. So let's say you have a light duty truck, such as a Duramax, that has a balance rate test on it. And what is it telling you? Well, it's uh, it's gonna tell you the overall health of the injector, or it could tell you the overall health of the cylinder itself. And I'm gonna show you what that means, okay? So let's say you have, again, we're gonna stay in a Duramax truck. You know what? Let's not stay in a Duramax truck. Let's go back over to, let's talk about a 7.3 here. So a 7.3 electronically controlled uh, injector. And it has what we call cylinder contribution. It comes up pass or fail uh, on the on the test that it's run. How does the truck, if it if this electrical portion of this injector is not a sensor, being that it doesn't receive a feedback to uh, whatever it is, whatever vessel it is, ECM or whatever, that tells you, hey, this is an I'm healthy, I'm flowing good, everything's all right. It can test for, it can receive a signal that says, hey, I'm shorted to ground. It doesn't receive a signal for shorted to ground, but it can say that that injector is shorted to ground, but it doesn't, it doesn't tell you its performance as far as a sensor goes. Uh, it just turns on the injector. How is that measured? How, how is it measured? If the injector is not reporting, how is that measured? Well, it's measured by the speed of the engine. So I did a little uh, drawing here, kind of a little, little chart. And I, again, I used just completely fictional numbers except for firing order here. So let's say your base RPM for your truck is 800 RPM, okay? The ECU, FICM, whatever, is commanding all of the injectors in your engine to make the engine run at 800 RPM, and it wants it to run smoothly at 800 RPM. Well, what is that? So this is an example in an eight-cylinder engine. Uh, bonus points for you if you know what this firing order is. So the ECU, FICM, whatever, looks at the firing order of the engine. So the firing order of this engine is 1372654. So be it so, because it's a four stroke engine, each cylinder is going to fire on every other rotation of the crank. So rotation one of the crank 
in firing order, you're going to have cylinder one to fire, cylinder three to fire, cylinder seven to fire, cylinder two to fire. Second rotation, six, five, four, eight. Exactly. Now, we know that our RPM is 800 RPM. What your ECU will do here is your ECU is going to time what each one of these cylinder uh, power stroke events take. So at this, the crankshaft, the crankshaft uh, angle or position from here to here, and it's going to time that, and then it'll distribute that equally, and then that's how you get your base RPM. If the injector or if cylinder number one is firing and it cannot get the speed and it is having to add fuel to compensate for that for the engine to pick up speed, that will be reported by whatever that test is. We're talking about cylinder contribution here, which now that I'm thinking about it, probably shouldn't have said that, but it will fail on that for this injector not being able to keep up for this speed right here. Now, wait, you're going to ask me, what is that if it's not a... Um, you know, can can that tell you whether the injector is bad or there's something mechanically wrong in the cylinder? It can tell you both. OK, give you an example of that. So let's say you buy eight injectors, eight injectors, and you put those in your truck and you look at the balance rates on that and you have a balance rate coming up for cylinder four, say it is. OK, if you're not having any smoking issues or well, I, I'm not going to go that far into it, but if you're not. If whatever your issue is that you're having, let's just say it's you, you run the balance rates on it, cylinder four is coming up uh, for a very high number or it's failing for that, whatever the parameter is. You can take that injector and you can move it to a different cylinder and see if the problem follows. If the problem follows, then you can pretty much say, hey, the problem is going to be in the injector. If the problem doesn't follow, then you might be looking at something mechanical inside of the engine that tells you, hey, I've got a problem on this cylinder. I can't maintain that speed that you're asking me to maintain because we've got, we're down in compression. We've got a problem going on in valve train, whatever uh, that may, may very well be. Could also be telling you that you've got a FICOM or an ECM problem if it, it's not able to maintain that. So the more I thought about this, it took me a couple of weeks to kind of uh, put this video together because I wanted to talk about it on a very, very high level because I didn't want you getting in the comments going, no, no, man, I got a 6.0 and da, 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 da whatever that is, I want to speak on a very high level, irregardless of what the test is, the test that you're running, that your vehicle has, cylinder contribution, percentage, whatever it is, is being measured by crankshaft speed as it relates to commanded RPM and the performance of the individual injectors per that cylinder or the individual cylinders to be able to maintain that, uh, that base RPM or that idle speed. So, if you've got a question about balance rates or injectors or cylinder failures or engine failures, whatever it is, just give us a call. If you're interested in the boat, give us a call on that too. Thanks for watching.